Welcome back to the Code OJ, where we have all of these things in the shop. There's a lot of gold in there. Code expires every seven days, so I gotta re-enter that. I don't even need the gold. I I'm just buying it for the ammo. I'm completely maxed though, but... Oh, it's two chests. Okay. I thought it was only one. This deal is okay. Let's blast through all of this, because we don't even need any of these. This is literally just free gold. So we got 4,300 gold. Plus all of that. Look at that emote. One more thing. Y'all know that Discord sponsors this entire channel. I'm actually doing a Q&A tomorrow on Friday at 11 a.m. CST on the tribe server, discord.gg slash tribe gaming. I'll see y'all there. We have the princess draft challenge and the prince deck challenge for today. The princess challenge is a casual. Eh. I'm just going to click everything on the left. You, you can't, you can't lose this. There's no losses in here, literally. Oh my goodness. He rushed everything that's pretty juicy oh he's rushing with like why is he rushing everything let's do a night witch to defend there we have the spear goblins this is it right here i'm back to my zap now if he has scar me if he has anything oh no he has roll delivery all right let's zap that inferno dragon just so that it resets in the goblin giant night witch connects on the tower that's all we really needed right the bats are gonna take out the tower well, he's rushing with the hog rider on the left. This guy loves rushing. All right. This is pretty relaxing. I could do a princess to take it out, but I'm going to use my princess to defend against his minion horde and his Skarmy. Or a roll delivery rush at the bridge. These casual challenges are wild. I'm going to kite the ghost into the other lane. We got no time for that. Princess is still defending against everything. She's going to be insane value. I'm going to do the hunter right there because I don't want that ghost connecting. Let's do minion to rush him as well. Oh, terrible idea. Big mistake. He slowed down the rushing of the stuff. So I'm going to do a Night Witch in the back. Princess in the other lane. Hog Rider to kind of stop that. Push on the left side. Princess will take care of most of the things. And then we're going to do a Goblin Giant right on top of that Night Witch. Oh, we're taking it easy. I'm going to rush Royal Giant on that side. Let's zap that Skarmy. Do a hunter on top of that hog rider. And then we have the night witch on the right side. The princess is going to deal all the majority of that damage there. I kind of want him to rush something. My goblin giant's going to kind of take care of the rest. Oh, that's only one crown. I should have zapped the scar me. <laughs> that's the princess challenge. It's a casual. <laughs> it's whatever. But onward to the prince deck challenge. The game's closing in five minutes. Honestly, I've been experimenting with other decks and I tried to do an all prince counter. That was just ridiculous because there's no win condition. I did a double prince, but instead of a regular card, I put in witch. That stank. I got wrecked by Pekka. So I put Pekka in there, but it turns out the core of my deck was bad. So you know what? I just I just put in a really easy to use golem deck. The thing with this challenge, I tried really, really hard to make a deck that works. If you're not good, you're not going to win. Princes... When they connect, you lose the tower. I can't make a foolproof deck for this. Only one in 12 players that enter this challenge will hit eight wins. Now, stats a little, little bit different with the season pass. It's amazing value. You got to get it. Code Oger. Let's open some of these. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back to showcase this deck. freaking maintenance ruining my thunder so graveyard works really well but as we learned from the creator challenge graveyard and bait only have a 30 percent win rate meaning that a lot of people don't know how to use it but a lot of people do know how to use golem so let's get into it oh he's got a prince back there that's beautiful his ice spirits he just wasted his zap. We're, we're so good. I'm going to stagger that scar me there. The ice spirit, it does nothing. My prince connects on that. I'm going to, I'm going to lightning that. So my princess connects to the tower. Oh, if you're going to bring a spawner, bring tombstone. All right. So I'm in trouble here, but well, that's fine. I'm going to position my bats a little bit lower because they don't have as much of a long range and the Mega Knight's definitely going to jump and connect. So minimal amounts of damage. Good fireball. He's really low on elixir based on the fact it took him that long to fireball. I'm up about three elixir because he, he fireballed when I was at three elixir. This is the perfect time to golem in the back. All right, he's going to want to zap. So at the very least, even if he gets all of my skeletons, 
He's gonna have to deal with my golem now. Night Witch right there. Just to support the take out the prince, and now she's gonna destroy everything. She's gonna have all that good stuff with the bats and everything. Bats there to tank the infernal dragon. That's in that's best case scenario. I'm not gonna use lightning, that's an overcommitment. But I will use skeleton dragons. With the bats and the night witch and everything. Oh my goodness, everything melted. I could do lightning for a baby dragon, but that would be an insane overcommitment. I'm just gonna do a prince there. That's good. My prince is going to defend against the baby dragon just by tanking it. No hits in the tower. He's got a furnace in the wrong lane. We're going to go and golem in the other lane now. I do have a Skarmy if he needs to do anything, any funny business. That's fine. We'll let that connect. And then I'm just going to go for a prince in the other lane at this point. He'll have fireball and zap, but that's not going to be enough. We've got double night witch on the right side. Here to use the zap, so I'm just gonna go in with the Skarmy at this point. There's nothing he can do. I have two Night Witches, a billion bats. Prince connects to the tower. That's a 2 1 victory. This Golem deck, beautiful. So, what I learned from freaking trying to build a really easy mode deck, this isn't one of those challenges where you just bring all the counters. You just have to bring a deck that you're comfortable with that has Prince in there. Is it Princess Bait? Is it Pekka Double Prince? Could be. Is it Prince Golem? Bring, look at a, go to Deck Shop Pro right now. Find a Prince deck that you're comfortable with. I'm just gonna split bats. Oh, he's got Tombstone. This guy is countering my Prince. That's dangerous. Oh, I keep forgetting to flex this emote. We have to let the haters know that we just spent $29 on an emote. It's even worse because I'm maxed out. So those extra cards and gold did nothing. I'm gonna wait for my Prince to cross the bridge before I do the Skeleton Dragons because I, I, I don't want that baby dragon to hit my skeletons. Hey, he's got a little happy poison there. That's fine. What's he going to counter this with? Barbarian barrel. All right. I'm going to go with bats just because I can. And I want to kind of cycle back to my prince. Golem at the bridge. And then we're going to have to do a P.E.K.K.A. or a prince, I mean. Oh, my goodness. That's destroying me. Oh no, I'm not connecting at all. I need to, to reevaluate re my existence. existence. Now that it's double elixir, golem at the bridge. Yeah, I'm I'm taking his deck. Giant double prince. That's the one. He's got tombstone there. I'm taking it. Hippity hoppity, his deck is now my property. And he had a musketeer, but we're gonna do an electro wizard because that's gonna stop all the princes. And it can stop balloon. There's not much anti-air in this deck. So if they have a balloon, you have Electro Wizard, you have Tombstone. Let's go in with the Tombstone immediately. Oh my word. That was a really bad place, Dark Prince, but that's fine. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna poison that Musketeer. That's free tower damage and she's gonna die. There we go. We'll do a Giant in the back slowly. Maybe an Electro Wizard to kind of support that. Maybe a Tombstone insanely high up to tank for the Prince. Oh, the Prince targeting onto the Tombstone. That's absurd. Baby dragon. Pr oh, look at that high place. Tombstone. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm going to do a prince because I want to get rid of that. That mega knight. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Those skeletons wrecked that mega knight. It made him retarget backwards. That's an that tombstone is so much value. Let's go. The Electro Wizard that keeps giving and giving and giving. He's the Electro Wizard is still alive. Hey, if you can't beat him, join him and make it better. This Electro Wizard, I'm very happy with this deck. Y'all know that I try to make a deck that's easier to use and pick up. So I try to avoid graveyard and bait and stuff like that, even if they have a higher win rate, if you're good with them. If you're good with them, play them. I've been thinking way too hard on this deck, but this is the one. All I had to do was take one defeat. Totally just one I didn't continue. So we're just one away from this. We'll be playing the princess challenge tomorrow. I'm very happy with this deck. It's well balanced. It's versatile. You put stuff down and you eventually win. Just don't rush. Oh. Well, no. One of these games. That's it for this video. At least we'll show him that we have the new emote. Like I said in my last speech, that's... 
play a deck you're comfortable with. I wish I was able to showcase this deck more. I'm very happy recommending this deck. And if you're not good with it, play a deck you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with any other Prince deck, only one in 12 players that enter the challenge get into it anyways. So you're probably going to need the season pass. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck in the challenges. Till next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.